excited to introduce you to my mother, who is well known in the family for making delicious fruit flans. My mother is Swiss, so this is a special Swiss recipe, and I'm going to walk you through it with her step by step. So the first step is my mother has a bowl of apricots. They cannot be too hard because they'll be very sour. So they have to be semi-soft. And then they are cut, as you can see, and she will point. They are cut in quarters. And the pits, the pits you can see in front of her, she'll point to the pits. They have been removed, of course. So that is step one. Now that the fruit has been cut up, we are going to be adding a quarter cup of sugar, more or less, sprinkle it on the cut apricots. The second thing, one third cup of flour, sprinkle it on top of the fruit, more or less, that amount. And the third thing is two teaspoons of lemon juice. And what we need to do now is mix it up to give it more flavoring. Step three, my mother is going to transfer it into a large glass bowl, which you can see, and she's going to mix it up and it needs to sit for a little while because next she's going to prepare the dough. So now we're on step four. We're going to prepare the dough for the flan. Two cups of flour go into a bowl. A pinch of salt. One teaspoon of sugar. Two thirds cups of vegetable oil. and four tablespoons of orange juice. Then we're going to mix it up with the spatula. And we're going to make it into a dough. If it's not the right consistency, one might have to add some more flour. But in this case, it is just fine. Step number six, my mother has taken the dough. She's dividing it into little sections. She's putting it at the base of the flan container and beside her is a spring form pan if you don't have a flan itself at home. Patting it gently all the way around as well as around the sides. So this she'll do for a few moments until it's complete. Step number seven, my mother's going to pack down the dough very, very firmly so that there are no holes on the bottom and around the sides as well. And now she's going to take the breadcrumbs. She's going to just sprinkle breadcrumbs or cornflake crumbs on the bottom. to give it a nice base and a bit of a crunch. And next, next she's going to move to the ground walnuts that go on top. Just sprinkle it around. There's no exact measurement, so you'll just take a look and see approximately a little handful or two. There we go. Step number eight. My mother is decorating the base uh, with the fruit from the outside 
into the center. And just to mention, the reason why breadcrumbs and walnuts are sprinkled at the bottom is that it shouldn't be too liquid at the bottom. It adds a little bit of a nice base to, to the fruit flan. So she'll be decorating it in a few moments. You'll see what happens next. Now the flan is ready with two layers of decorated fruit and it's ready to go into the oven. Step number nine, the flan went into the oven for 15 minutes for 400 degrees, then 350 degrees for 45 minutes and check that it doesn't burn while it's in the oven. And if it gets a little bit too brown, put on a little butter or margarine on the top and a little bit of sugar perhaps and top it for the remaining um, time that it's in the oven with a bit of tin foil. And then you can take it out and get it ready to be decorated. The last step in the process is decorating it with slivered almonds. And there you go. Close up. Look how gorgeous this is, like a picture. Just beautiful. At any fine pastry shop, you couldn't get something so gorgeous. So that completes the apricot fruit flan and it can be made also with plums, with peaches, or with apples. Happy baking. Bye for now.